Hey there you guys, so it is me, Random Josh, and I'm back again with another Random Monday video. So yeah, as you can tell by the video, well the title of the video, sorry, um, we are obviously doing a Halloween look today, and I thought I'd go with a kind of generic one, like, you know, something that's been very, very popular, and from looking at it, it looks kind of not too hard. Now obviously you may know that I am really crap at things like this. Um, I don't have a very steady hand or anything like that, so it's gonna be interesting, but this is gonna be my take on a Pennywise look. Obviously, it's not gonna look exactly like Pennywise because I'm not that good, <laughs> but it's gonna be a look that you can obviously recreate. I'm gonna try and make it as cheap as possible. Alrighty, so we are starting with some white face paint. This is a Snazaroo face paint. I'm going to be using Snazaroo throughout this tutorial. Um, as you can see, I'm just kind of wiping on a base layer, um, so it's not the most covered look at the moment. But don't worry, we will be touching it up, as you can see here. Um, so this is when I started doing the pressing. Um, motion rather than swiping just because I felt like it would get the most out of the colour and just really white out the face because it is a clown look after all. We need that Pennywise to look pale. <laughs> um, as you can tell as well, I haven't actually gone over every part of my face. This is because this is just a quick tutorial slash look. Um, sorry about that. So, yeah, you can go over the ears and go down the neck just to make it look a bit more polished. Um, but I didn't do that, so as you can see there, I'm taking some black Snazaroo face paint again, and this is going over the eyes. And yes, this looks ridiculous at the moment. I look crazy, but don't worry, you look great. So now I take some water just to blend that out a little bit. Um, this removes some of the darkness, but you can see it's removed some of the white as well. So this is why I'm going in with some white again, just to clean up those edges. I'm now taking a paintbrush and the red face paint and attempting to do the nose. I went a little bit too big with the nose because I kept making mistakes and when you make a mistake you try and go over it and it ends up going huge. So take it slow and make a rough guideline even lower than you would expect just because if you make a mistake at least you can make it work somehow. And then again with the lips, um, yeah I made a bit of a mistake with these, these look really Miranda Sings lips, <laughs> you know. Um, and there I'm attempting to do the line work which is from the smile all the way up, I did a little bit on the upper eyelid as well, just to, because I thought why not. Now this side went a lot better because I actually did it smooth, so yeah, um, I would recommend doing it smoother, and yeah, I'm trying to cover it up a little bit here, but it didn't really work out to my advantage. Um, covering over red paint with white just goes pink. So keep that in mind, <laughs> maybe remove it first and then yeah, here I'm just adding a bit of definition around the lips, I just decided to do that, I didn't really know, I was just messing around really, so I've added a little bit of black underneath and then I've got a little bit of the uh, red and I mixed it in with some white to powder out the um, lips and also I added it to the nose. So here's the finished look, I hope you enjoyed. Okay there you guys, I hope you enjoyed this, I know it looks insanely terrible, I made so many mistakes and it's a lot harder than it looks basically. Obviously I don't actually really recall what it looks like, I haven't actually seen the film which is really bad straight up, 
Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you if you do have more of an artistic -y side to you, you actually can do a lot of a better job than me, you know? Um, it just takes a few little things, you know, some face paint and you're done. You know, if you want to go the full mile, you can add the wig, add more detail to it. You can take it to whatever level you want. Like this, I could go out like this, I wouldn't even care. It'd still scare some bitches, you know? If I got some fake teeth and just... <laughs> it's still spooky. And if you go out in the right outfit as well, it works. But like I said, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a spooky Halloween. And I will see all of you in the next video. Peace out, bitches.